Hello, everybody. We are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and I think today we will take a look at our own single-player map here on Revel on Thule Coast because we have not searched most of our map to see if we have any diamonds or rares, so I think today we're going to do that. I'm going to start with the Whitetail, then we'll move on to the Moose, and then we'll kind of scan the southern parts for some Raccoon Dogs and other stuff like that and just see if we can find ourselves some initial spawn diamonds. But since I have not gone through most of my map, I've done a lot of my hunting for Revon Thule in multiplayer, so we are going to spend some time in single player today and just see what we've got on our map and maybe even set up for a Whitetail grind at some point. I guess we'll have to see how things go. Well, as expected, this uh, kind of northeast part of the map has a lot of whitetail, as I've seen on pretty much every single map on uh, multiplayer. So let's go ahead and take out this big buck right here, and uh, this one if we can as well. And then we will drop a tent so that we can pull out our tripod and get a tripod set up in this area. That way we can uh, take them without deleting the zones. And just like that, we've got our tripod placed down, and this uh, should be a pretty good area to do that. I'm going to keep the tripods on me and place a few more throughout this area, and then we will go collect our tent right after. And tripod number two has been placed down. We're actually going to jump into this thing and take out one of these deer over in this area real quickly. Because uh, we do have a couple decent bucks, and we definitely want to get them down. Uh, to kind of work towards respawns and hopefully get ourselves a great one eventually. Because I do really want to get a Revon Thule Coast, a great one. And I also kind of want to see how the herds react on this map. Like, will I have to shoot does? Can I get away with just shooting the bucks? It's uh, uncertain as of now, but I'm really hoping this will be a map where I can just shoot the bucks and not have to resort to shooting does to actually get things to respawn properly, like on Rancho Del Arroyo. Uh, so I don't actually remember us shooting two bucks at the beginning. I, I guess we did shoot two of them. But there's one of them scoring 235. That's a very solid deer. Not a bad way to start the day out. Now, like I was mentioning, we're not going to spend all our time on Whitetail. But we are starting out with them and we got ourselves a few pretty decent bucks down. And here is those other bucks we ended up taking down. I think we shot three of them if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this guy was definitely the smallest of the bunch. And then this was one of the larger ones scoring 219. But I think there was one that was even larger, and I have no idea where it went off to. I'm assuming it's not far, and yeah, it's kind of floating around in the water, so not too far at all. Let's see what this guy scores. It's probably going to be roughly the same, and yes, it is. 213.10. And if you guys are curious, the location we were just hunting these whitetail at, it's up here at uh, Ramin, which is way in the top right of the map. There are so many whitetail here, like, it's not even funny how many are here. It's kind of crazy. But it's definitely one of the best locations on the map. Now, let's start moving around and see if we can find a few other good locations. You know, Rev on Thule Coast really is just loaded with whitetail deer just as much as Rancho is. Now, like I was saying, I still have a lot of questions as to how the respawns are going to be. Are they going to be consistent? Will they move around a lot? There's really only one way to find out, and that is to blast a bunch of them and just see what happens. Hopefully, they'll end up coming back to the same lakes that I killed them at, but uh, we shall see. Well, it seems like we got ourselves a grouse. Let's uh, try to get that down if we can. I am definitely wanting to find myself a rare grouse if possible. That's something that is uh, definitely on the bucket list of uh, trophies to search for. That is a brown hazel grouse female, so nothing too crazy, but you never know when it could end up being a rare. Well, it definitely seems like this lake is going to be pretty good for whitetail. We had a zone right here that I just ended up spooking all of the deer out of. And right across, we got another zone over here, and that's just one half of this lake. There's definitely way more of the lake to uh, discover, so uh, let's just drop a tent down here, and I think this will uh, be one of the spots that we grind for sure whenever we do a uh, Great One Whitetail guy, uh, grind here on Revon Thule Coast. It definitely seems like it's going to be one of the lakes that we hit up quite often. And for those that are curious, the lake is located right here towards the top middle, and the one that we were just at is over here. Definitely going to be a pretty good little uh, stretch of lakes, and I think this one probably will be good as well. Definitely going to pay close attention to all of these, especially if we continue seeing lots of deer around them. Well, there's another zone. I didn't actually get to see the deer that were in it, but there is another whitetail zone on this side, so we've got at least three at this location, which is really good. Definitely a lot better than uh, Leighton Lakes or Mississippi. Oh, there is definitely some whitetail deer at this lake right here. And it actually looks like there's going to be a decent bit of them here. We got a zone there. And then right across, we got a pretty large zone as well. 
And I'm going to assume that there's probably even more if I were to look over further. This definitely seems like it's going to be a solid location, so uh, let's get a tent drop down right here as well. And it looks like I was right, there was a deer over there, so that's three zones at just this lake alone. That's not bad, I'm happy with that. Now it is this lake right here, just north of this outpost. This definitely seems like it's going to be a very solid one to hunt, and I think you could honestly just hunt this upper area and do pretty good on your grind. It definitely seems like a map where you won't have to hunt the entire map in order to get a good amount of deer down. Uh, well, <laughs> I may have found, uh, quite the zone. Uh, yeah, that's, um, that's a lot of whitetail and a lot of moose as well. There's just a moose feeding zone next to this whitetail drink zone and another whitetail drink zone there. Okay, this might be one of the most insane locations I've ever seen on Revontule Coast. And just in general in Call of the Wild, this is crazy. This is so many animals in one spot. This is a beautiful thing to see. And we are right here at the Navan Lake, just south of this outpost right here. That's really cool. Well, I suppose we should take some of them down before they spook off. Let's uh, try to squeeze it in there and get one of the big ones in the back once we uh, kind of shoot these ones out of the way which uh, is a little bit easier said than done. And actually, it looks like he may be moving, so maybe we'll actually get a, a better angle on him. Well, regardless, let's start going ahead and uh, blasting these guys, get at least a couple of them down, even if this guy manages to get away, which it's uh, looking like he definitely will, and that is a giant herd, my gosh. It's awesome to see, though. I love to see something comparing to Rancho's numbers. now. I still have the question of whether or not they'll respawn properly, but I guess we will see. Let's just get this tent put down somewhere. Yeah, this zone is officially crazy. Let's see how many are here. So we got a drink zone of nine. Is there any others that are going to be here? There's definitely more than nine. So there has to be multiple drink zones in this area, or not necessarily multiple drink zones, but multiple herds using the same drink zone, because that is a pretty common occurrence in the Hunter Call of the Wild. You do get a lot of zones where there's multiple herds that use them, and this uh, definitely seems to be one of those scenarios. I just can't find the drink zone from the other herd. Uh, but uh, I guess we'll just assume that there's more than nine, because it definitely looked like it. Well, there is our larger buck. Let's uh, see what this guy ends up scoring. It is a 207.30 that we did indeed mess up. That is a little bit unfortunate, as we have an angry moose and some angry deer, too. I mean, if we can find them, maybe we'll take them down. But, uh, doesn't look like we're gonna get much of a shot at this guy. Well, I did not expect it both of those, so I didn't even bother with, uh, commentating over it. I mean, hopefully these will be something good. We did just get two free kills, essentially, while we were running over here to, uh, try and get us a... another spot for some whitetail. However, it doesn't seem like they're here from what I can tell, and neither of those grouse were anything special either. Oh, I stand corrected. There actually is a couple bucks here, and uh, let's go ahead and take that guy out before he ends up getting away. We don't even need a uh, tent for this one because it's actually right next to the outpost, so that's pretty nice. Uh, so I think we'll end up checking one more lake for whitetail, and then we'll transition into moose time. And then after that, we'll probably just run around for some upland birds. I really just want to scour as much of the map as we can up here in the north and see if we can find some good trophies, uh, considering I haven't hunted my own map too often. We shall see if there's anything hiding, and I'm really hoping that there will be. And now we start our search for the moose, and we do have a few of them out here. Uh, nothing too crazy, but we've definitely got a few moose, and I think we'll take out this guy right here, as he does, does seem like it's going to be the best one to take out, and also the easiest one, considering he's away from the rest. Oh my gosh, that is a guaranteed troll level 5. Wow, that is unfortunate. That is incredibly unfortunate. That is a guaranteed troll level 5 moose. I don't even know what to say. That is just incredibly sad. And uh, this is clear up at this location right here in the top middle. This does seem like it's a very solid whitetail and moose lake. I mean, we've got ourselves some good 4s. We got a 5 right there. It seems like it's really good. I don't know if I set up a stand over here. Uh, it doesn't look like it, so we're just gonna have to go ahead and blast this guy and uh, hope that it doesn't delete any zones, which I don't think it will. Just unfortunate that this guy is a guaranteed troll. But let's go ahead and try to get him to stop so we can actually make the shot. 
And that should do the trick right there. That should be plenty fine on that big bowl right there. Hopefully we can get this one as well, and that looks like it definitely connected the way we needed it to. Well, there is our giant troll moose, which is uh, still very unfortunate, but you can definitely see why it trolls. The paddles are actually way different, which is uh, very unfortunate. 267 scoring level 5. Man, what would this guy have been if it was even? I'm very curious. I'm going to assume that it probably would have scored a decent bit higher in, I mean, just from this alone, we can see that it would have made diamond if it was even. That is, uh, that's really unfortunate. So, it's this one that kind of killed it. This left side. Uh, the right side did perfectly fine, it seems. If it had been this on both sides, it actually would have been a diamond. That's wild. That is, that's crazy. That's really unfortunate, though. Really, really unfortunate. Well, that is a very interesting sight. We've got quite the rest zone over here with some Capricallis. Some uh, white-tailed deer, some mountain hare, and a lynx. This is really interesting to see, but I really like it. I love that there's a zone like this. And we even got ourselves a moose right there. I don't exactly know if this is the moose's zone, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was, considering what we're looking at right now. Wait a second, is that... There is black grouse with them as well. Oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. We got white-tail, black grouse, lynx, mountain hare, Capricallis and moose in virtually the same area. This is insane. Well, it seems we have managed to get one of the grouse to fly right to us, so let's go ahead and take it out as it uh, tries to fly away. And that should be two hits into it. It's gonna take it a bit to go down, but it should go down eventually. The 20 gauge is so much weaker, so we don't get as many drop shots on these birds as what we've been used to with the 12 gauge. A little unfortunate that it's this weak against them, but you know, it is what it is. There's our little grouse, and hopefully that puts us one step closer to getting ourselves a rare from them. I really badly want to get some of these upland and waterfowl rares, as a lot of them do look really good. Hopefully this will uh, help work us towards that. Well, there is a rock charm again. Let's see if we can manage to hit that thing. It's uh, looking like we definitely did. However, it didn't uh, drop on the spot like I was hoping for. I have not found too much besides that level 5 moose ever since we uh, started this video, and... We're approaching two hours of searching, we're about like 19 minutes away from it. And as of now, just nothing rare, which is primarily what I was here for. Was really hoping that we could get a rare bird today, and it's just not looking like that is going to be a thing. Well, it sounds like, oh, there they are. I was gonna say, it sounds like there is some near, and there definitely is. I don't think we're gonna be able to hit all of them though, as they are uh, getting quite far away, and I didn't think there was gonna be that many. But maybe they'll fly off again, and we'll be able to take some more shots at them. Well, it actually looks like we did get one of them. I, I don't know which one this is. It appears to be the first. Well, we got ourselves a small molting male down at least. And here goes another one about to hit the ground if we can get a shot on it. And just like that, down goes another one of these beautiful ptarmigan. I've been having a lot of fun with these things and somehow that was considered grounded. I don't know how, but uh, I guess it was just entering the landing animation. Uh, we've got a random black grouse running right at us. I mean, I suppose that saves us a little bit of uh, tracking time. Let's just go ahead and boop him right there. We are really increasing our kill count on these upland birds, and you know I'm all for it. The more we do this, the more chances we'll get a rare in the future, and that is the uh, end goal here. So hopefully we can make that happen very soon. And now we've got two more of them flying towards us. I have no idea if it's males or females. It looks like that one's a male and that one is actually a female. So we did end up getting one of each there. I don't know what plumage types these were. It appears that they are just normal ones. That is a brown male hazel grouse. And then this one I'm assuming is also gonna be similar. Yeah, it's a brown female hazel grouse. Oh my gosh, what am I looking at? That is an absurd amount of birds. From black grouse to ptarmigans, this area is absolutely loaded with them. Uh, for those that are curious where we currently are, we're at this location right here above this lake. This was a really good area in early access and it looks like it's still just as good. You know, I think we might end up dropping a tent up here, not only for the birds, but also for this moose zone right here. That is just crazy. 
All right, I think we are now close enough to start uh, running towards them and get a couple of them to flush now. Whether or not we'll get the males, that's a completely different story. Some geese did land here while I was stalking up though, so we have an opportunity to take some geese if we would like as well. But I think we'll focus the term again primarily. But I mean, if they're gonna give us a shot like that, I might as well take it. And I don't even know if we're gonna get any of the upland birds because of that. I mean, there's one chilling right next to us, so I suppose we could take down these if they're just gonna chill like this. You know, I still don't understand how some of the 20 gauge shots end up missing. Most of these shots would have been dead on with the 12 gauge, but for some reason with the 20 they just do not connect in the same way. We got quite a few of those down though, we got a modeled rock charm again. This is probably my favorite plumage type. The modeled plumage type is just stunning. Absolutely love it. Now the rest of these are probably nothing too special, so we'll just kind of zoom past them. Uh, this one might need us to shoot it again. I don't think it's dead, but now it is. There is the last of the birds that we ended up taking down, and this one is another ptarmigan, a molting female. And I think on that note, we will go ahead and end the video here. We searched a pretty good amount of our northern part of the map, and even got ourselves a troll level 5 moose, which was a little unfortunate that it trolled, but you know, it is what it is. That's part of Call of the Wild. But we're going to do much more of this in the coming future, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. But with that being said, thank you all for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below as to whether or not you enjoyed this uh, type of video, and I will try to respond to as many as I can. With that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!